Hey y'all, Tech Terror down here. Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite web app tools to use, and this is called remove.bg. And so you can get here by going to remove.bg, and that will take you to the website, which is going to do one thing and one thing only really well, it is going to remove the background image that you provided. This used to be pretty difficult. You'd have to go into something like Photoshop and do a lot of different clicks to remove the background, but this makes it so simple, honestly, better than most other websites that I've used it for. So this is one of my favorite tools to use. Okay. So why might we use this? So for example, we might have a presentation that we're doing and we have these logos and they look okay on this background, but they could really look better if we remove the background and just kept the text. And so what we can do is actually take those logos. So when we find those logos, we can copy that image. And when we go into remove.bg, we don't have to save it to our computer, which I love. You can just do command V and that's going to remove that background. So you can see that background has been removed it's left us that image. Now, even better, we don't have to download it here. We can right click on this image. We can hit copy that image. We can go back into our presentation. And if you hit paste, now you have that nice logo there. Now, I really love this because it saves so much time. You don't have to have all those files on your computer. You can have them already saved. It makes this process so much easier. So we could do this with the Spotify logo too. Again, we're just copying that image. We're going back into remove.bg. We're going back to the main page. Again, we just paste it. And again, I've got that logo ready to go. So you can see I've done this very quickly, right? But this looks so much cleaner, and especially if we're putting these logos on the page. And you can see the difference here between the two. And that is a very fast way to get those into a presentation without even needing to do anything as far as saving them to your computer. Awesome. So let's do another example. Maybe another example is we want to clean up a headshot. What we can do in this example is we can take that professional headshot. We can copy that image. Again, we take it right back into the tool, go to the main page. little magic here. We're going to copy that image and we're going to have a clean version then set up there. Make it nice and fresh, have it blend right into the background. Really great example of how to use remove.bg. All right, we'll do one more example here because this one will be a little bit trickier. So we're going to copy this image and take it into remove.bg. We'll paste it again. And what you can see here is that the image has done pretty well. So it's got the dog here and maybe we want this leash to be on here, but you can see there's actually a piece missing here. And so one of the neat things that you can do with remove.bg is you can click edit. And so when we go to edit here, there's a couple different options you'll see here. You could do things um, like blur the background if you wanted to, which is a neat option you can automatically put the dog on different photos that you might have uploaded here. You have some presets that they already have set up here. And in this example, I want to keep the dog and I just want that leash to be fixed there. Well, the neat thing is you can click on erase and restore, and this allows you to do a couple things. If you choose erase, it's going to take away pretty self-explanatory, but what if we want to restore? So restore, if we do this, you'll be able to get that leash back, which is a pretty great feature. So now we'll have to do just a little bit of cleanup here. We can adjust that brush size. We'll come back in here, take off as much of this green as we can. And once we get this green off, it's going to leave us with that nice leash that we can then take into our presentation. We could even zoom in here if we need to, right, to really get detailed and clean up as perfectly as we can to get all of the green away. And then once we've done that, 
we'll be able to then take this image back in. We can even clean up around the dog's body here. Get rid of any green that we see. Perfect. Zoom back out here. Take a bit more of that green off here just so it looks really nice and clean. Great. All right, so now we can quickly download that image. And once we go back into our presentation, we'll be able to then pull that image in. And we have that dog with the leash, which looks really nice here, almost like it's flying through the sky. So this works great for presentations. What I really like too is that if you are a user of a program called Figma, which we'll go over in another video, is it is actually already directly integrated through a plugin. And so if you're familiar with Figma, you can get this plugin by clicking on the top left, going down to plugins, browsing those plugins in the community. And if you do a quick search for remove BG, you're going to see it come up as the top option. And once we hit install, if we go back into our program here, we would be able then to select the image that we want to use, go to plugins, remove that background and run it right here in Figma. So it's going to ask us to set our API key first. So we can set that key it tells us to go to the website to create a free account. So we would create a free account. And then you'll be able to use that plugin once you put in your API key. You would sign up up here, and then you could use that tool in Figma and remove all of the backgrounds right in Figma. So that's remove.bg. I find myself using it more than you would think, but it's a really great tool to really quickly remove those backgrounds and keep your presentations looking nice and clean. Please subscribe to the channel. We'll have a video coming out each week. Thank you.